So in this video, I wanted to talk about an interesting and really underappreciated family of pens called the Pilot Acro line. So uh, the Pilot Acro, it's a, it's a number of pens, it's not a huge family, but uh, it's uh, got some notable pens and some that I really like. And not a lot of people talk about it, but I figured it'd be worth spending a few minutes on. Before we jump into that, we'll talk a minute about the Uniball Jetstream family of pens, which pretty much everyone knows about and is uh, really popular. It's a really extensive line. The Jetstream is a modern ballpoint ink pen uh, or a lubricated ballpoint or a, uh, a hybrid ballpoint, whatever you want to call it, but it uses a modern formula, oil-based ink, which is really smooth, super reliable, has really nice color. So it's that same sort of ballpoint ink that we all grew up using, but its uh, formula has been updated many times, making the Jetstream so, so good. Well, Uniball, or Uni, whatever you want to call them, isn't the only company to have done this. Pilot's, you know, competition to the Jetstream is called the Acro Ink. That Acro Ink you might have used before in a pen like the Dr. Grip, or you might have used an Acro pen or an Acro ball. The uh, Acro line of ink and the Acro ball, whatever, they haven't, you know, been able to compete with the Jetstream. That's definitely a bigger hit. But Pilot has still done a really good job with the Acro line, so I figured it'd be worth talking about. Uh, okay, so with that background, we'll get into some of the pens. Uh, this is a pretty good list, but it's not 100% exhaustive. So there'll be some out there that I missed. This is the standard standard Acro Ball. It is a uh, it's an affordable pen, usually sold in uh, multi packs. It's uh, a direct competitor to kind of the standard Jetstream. The Acro Ball is uh, entirely plastic. It's uh, I'd say an office-friendly pen, but also a student pen. Uh, it has this uh, this sneaker grip, which is really uh, popular within the Acro Ball line. Uh, and then uh, you know, kind of a you know a modern styling, but more uh, kind of more fun, youthful, whatever you want to call it. Uh, and a lot of people do like that grip. It's quite nice. Uh, these use Acro Ball ballpoint ink, as you'd expect. And it uses this refill, which is called the BRFV. In this case, uh, I think I have a one, oh, sorry, this is the BRFV10-F. So it's a fine, and this is a, uh, a 0.7 millimeter. The Acro line is sold just like the Jetstream in a, uh, well, similar to Jetstream, it's sold in a, a 1.0 millimeter, which you don't see too much, a 0.7 and 0.5, which are very common. And then just recently it started being sold in a 0.3 millimeter. So it's not sold in a 0.38 like the Jetstream, but rather a 0.3. So this is the Acro Ball. Again, this is, I would say, the mainstay of the line. It's a pretty good pen, not really exceptional. Then we have uh, this pen. Actually, let's go over here for this one. This is the Acro M. It's the same thing as the Acro Ball, uh, but it uses kind of a cooler styling, or maybe it's not cooler, it's up to you but it uses a, a single color throughout the pen, moves to uh, the black up here. So the Acro M is, is basically the same exact pen, but it uh, has uh, different color schemes, and I would say it's kind of a more muted, classier look. So same pen, different paint job. Okay, so what is next? We have, uh, that is another Acro Ball, just to show that is so much variation in the line. It's a popular line. And now we have the Acro Pro. Uh, this is a US pen. I don't believe it's sold in other places. Uh, and this is basically the same exact pen as the Acro Ball, but it's called the Acro Ball Pro. It uses a uh, same grip, but it has some metal hardware at the front, the metal clip, and kind of a more, I wouldn't call it an executive pen, but it's got a more of an executive styling to it, kind of more muted colors. And uh, I believe it is a slightly heavier because of the metal, but it's essentially the same pen, a little bit sleeker, a little bit calmer, kind of more office friendly. So that's called the Acroball Pro. And again, it's not very popular, but you can find them online. I think mostly on Amazon and then in like office type stores. So now we'll jump into sort of my favorite of the Acro series is no longer the Acro Ball, but now we're in the straight up the Acros. This is the Acro 300. It's only a $3 pen. And uh, it's, I would say, super classy. It uh, has a very classic styling, sort of like an Apaka P, like from Bolograph or 
Uh, again, it's like a 1960s type styling, but obviously quite, quite modern. It's not that old of a pen. Uh, it uses a wider or flared grip for comfort and adds a little bit of weight to the bottom for stability. Has some nice metal hardware, metal clip, metal button, uh, really nice click action, and uh, just a really cool pen overall. Uh, out of the entire Acro line, this is my favorite pen overall, regardless of price, regardless of build quality, anything. This is, uh, I would say, the best pen in the line. Really nice, really comfortable. You could buy these for, you could buy a three pack of these for like eight, nine bucks on Amazon right now. Just a great pen and uh, really nicely styled and really quite a good writer. And it uses that same refill. BR. FV-10, in this case, it's the M, because instead of being a point, uh, 0.5 millimeter like the F, it is a 0.7 millimeter. Okay, so that is the Acro 300. Next up, we have the newest line, newest family of the Acro line, which is the Acro 500. Uses the same refill, still a plastic body, has some metal hardware at the bottom and the clip, uh, and then it has a sort of more uh, this kind of futuristic styling to it. Uh, it's an interesting pen. It sells for 500 yen or $5 instead of 300 yen. It is on the small side. So it's uh, interesting that the 500 costs more than the 300 when it's a smaller pen and it's uh, still all plastic, but it does have this metal hardware here. So the Acro 500 is basically a variant of the Acro 300. Same, uh, same refill, which is what happens almost across the line till we'll, we'll see later there's some changes. Uh, slightly more uh, sleek styling, modern styling, whatever you want to call it, and some interesting colors. But the uh, Acro 500 is basically just a, uh, I don't know, it's kind of a weird twist in the road for this line, and it's uh, just an interesting pen, and you, uh, you're you going to either love or hate the styling. So that's it. This is, this is a pretty new pen for 2021. I think it came out uh, maybe around February or March, and still kind of hard to find in the U.S., I have this one in a 0.3 millimeter. So the Acro refills are now sold in a 0.3 millimeter. I think it's a pretty recent development and I believe you can just now buy some of these Acro M's, the Acro, uh, sorry, the uh, Acro Ball M's in a 0.3 millimeter if you uh, hunt them down. Okay, so now we have the Acro 1000. The Acro 1000 is a, uh, is a metal version. Uh, this lower piece here is metal. Uh, the clip is metal, metal button. So it's a mostly metal version of the Acro 300. Acro 300 sells for 300 yen. Acro 1000 sells for 1000 yen or, uh, you know, about $10, $11. It's available now in uh, in the U.S. and you can buy it on Amazon. Whereas when it first came out, it was really hard to find. So the Acro 1000 is simply the executive version of the Acro 300. Uh, I, you know, it's no longer fully plastic, it's no longer transparent. Uh, because it uses this sort of cool exec executive styling and this piece is metal, so it has some nice weight to it. Again, it still has that flared uh, lower grip area, which I find to be very comfortable and I think it looks really cool. Same clip, which is kind of a nice callback, same button, same sort of uh, kind of swoopy little indentation there. So it's, they are really uh, quite similar pens but if you want something on the heavier side, you get the 1,000. If you want a nice, light, affordable pen, get the 300. Now we have another executive pen, and this one is called the Acro Drive. This is the most expensive pen in the Acro line, and the price now is up above $30, maybe $35, give or take. The Acro Drive is fully metal, so top and bottom, kind of newly designed clip, and now we're in sort of the uh, fully executive styling but also now we're moving off uh past just a cool looking pen into like a like a higher end pen and something that's going to compete directly with the jetstream prime set of pens which are again in like that 30 to 40 dollar price range this is no longer a click this is a twist pen so it has that really nice twist action twist it out locks and when you twist it here you'll see it actually will return on its own it's really cool fully uh fully silent and uh, just a really nice pen overall it's a lot heavier than the other pens in the line we're now we're getting into like the i don't know maybe 18 grams or something like that it's it's a hefty pen 
and uh, you do pay for it, which is over $30. Now, interestingly, we move away from the standard Acro refill, that uh, BRVF, and we move over to, sorry about that, a Pilot proprietary refill. So this is the BRFN, uh, BRFN-30. This is the uh, high-end Pilot ballpoint style refill, the same refill you would find in a, uh, say, a Pilot S20 pen, their nice wooden pen. And also Pilot uses this up the line into some of their most expensive ballpoint pens. So that's the BRFN-30. Uh, this is the fine. It's also sold in an M, which is right, is really nice. The M is a point, is a 1.0 millimeter. The fine, I believe, is a 0.7. So with the Acro Drive, you move to a higher end pen with all metal and uh, a lot of extra weight to it. Uh, sort of, I don't know if I quite call it a luxury pen, but you're definitely moving to a different class of pen. Unfortunately, you're moving to a more expensive refill, but the BRFN refills are completely fine. And if you want to save some money, you could actually put a Dr. Grip refill in this and still get that Acro ink. I uh, have this in a bunch of different colors. And uh, it's a really nice pen, sold in a gold, all black, uh, just, just a cool pen, and definitely one that doesn't come up as much as I think it should. That's the Acro Drive. Lastly, the Acro Ball Line, not the Acro, not the Acro Drive, nothing like that. The Acro Ball Line is sold in a few different multi-pens. I don't have that many of them. This is the Acro Ball 4. Uses a spring clip, which is kind of interesting since we don't see that across the line. Kind of something I would associate more with like a Zebra Sarasa. We have that sneaker grip is back. This is a direct callback from the uh, Acro Ball and the Acro M. So that is uh, the Acro Ball line keeps, uh, or the Acro Ball M rather, that keeps this throughout, which is nice consistency. Some similar styling here with that uh, front cone. And then uh, it's a pretty wide multi-pen. It is a four color. So uh, that's not super surprising. And I think there's some other ones. I think there's maybe a two plus one and maybe a three plus one, but uh, this is what I have. It's the Acro Ball 4. It's pretty nice multi-pen. I like the Acro Ink, and it's a good competitor to like the Jetstream 3 or the Jetstream 4. Actually, I prefer the Jetstream 3 and 4, but it's still a pretty good pen. This one uses a multi-pen style refill, and this one is called, let's see if we can make this out, the BVRF-8F. So multi-pen style refill still uses that Acro ink. So uh, definitely a change of pace for the Acro ball line, but uh, an interesting pen nonetheless. I think I missed, yeah. So that, yeah, there you go. That is the Acro ball for representing the Acro multi-pens. So I think that pretty much covers the Acro line of pens. Or the, maybe it's called the Acro family of pens, uh, including the Acro ball, the Acro, and the Acros. Uh, the Acro balls are completely fine. Good competitors to the entry-level jet streams. Personally, I prefer the entry-level jet streams, uh, but these are completely adequate pens and they're worth trying out. The Acro Ball Ink is, uh, the Acro Ink is quite nice. Where I think Pilot has really done a good job is with the Acro family. So that's these pens. Acro Drive, Acro 300, Acro 1000, and Acro 500. Uh, these are really cool pens, uh, really well made. I really like using them. Uh, and I would say they're very much underappreciated. So out of them, I would say if you could find an Acro Drive, if you found a good deal, definitely pick one up. Super cool pen. Skip the Acro 500. It's too hard to find right now. It's too small. It doesn't do anything for me. Uh, between the Acro 300 and Acro 1000, I do prefer the Acro 300. Super affordable, just a great pen, looks great, so much fun to use. So out of the Acro line, I would say try to hunt down an Acro Drive, try to hunt down an Acro 300. They're great pens, you're not gonna be disappointed. If you like the jet streams, you'll really like these. I don't think the Acro line, the Acro Ball Ink is better than the Jetstream, which is why we don't talk about it a lot. Uh, you know, the Acro, the uh, Jetstream line is just, is really good. It works really well. So does the Zebra Emulsion line, which is another direct competitor to this. So the Acro kind of takes, uh, you know, third place in that lineup, 
but you do have some really cool pen bodies that are worth checking out and worth people knowing about. So I think that about covers it. If I miss any pens or you have anything to add, please drop a comment. But that is a deep dive into Pilot's Acro family of pens. Thanks for watching.